This is the life proof case for your iPhone. I've got an iPhone 4S, so that's what this one is. Just purchased it now after struggling with other solutions to keep my phone dry while I'm out on the kayak or the boat. The other options I've used, a bag like this, they're great to keep your keys dry, um, but as soon as they get any moisture inside there, this whole thing fogs up and you run the risk of any electronics getting wet and dying on you. Another version I've been using, which when I bought it brand new it was fine until I've used it a little bit more often. This silicon membrane is absolutely useless when you get wet fingers, so you can't actually use your phone, so it's totally impractical for that. Let's come and have a water test now to make sure it doesn't leak before we take it out on the water. Following the instructions, I've put a paper towel inside and I'm testing it in the sink. So that pulled up dry as I would have hoped. So that's a quick look at the life proof dry case for your phone. I've also purchased the life jacket, life proof life jacket. This is for the iPhone 5, I've got the 4S, this seems to fit my phone just fine. Everything works fine inside, only limitation is to the camera, which has a slight shadow on the corner. You'll see here, we'll go and throw it in the water and make sure it floats. Comes with two different straps, which is great. You've got the wrist strap, or you've got the lanyard for around your neck. There's four different attachment points, one on each corner and all the openings so that your functionings for your volume and your power on your phone still work just fine. The whole thing fits nicely into my Railblazer mobile device holder so I can put it on the boat or the kayak and hold it in place. So that's a wrap up with the two new products combined. Look forward to using these over the next few months and I'll report on how we go. Thanks for watching, this is Jason from PaddleGuy.com.